Good afternoon everybody, this is Daniel with Superior Kia and today we're going to discuss our center console controls and we're in a 2023 SX Prestige Sportage and we're just going to do a little quick rundown of what each one of these controls are and what features and what functions we have here today. So as I mentioned before we are in a SX Prestige 2023 Kia Sportage as you can see it has the red interior package very nice and that is a leather seat we have power seats on both sides and as you can see we have heated as well as ventilated driver and passenger seats that was high medium low and off on the ventilated seats and here we have high medium low and off on our heated seat that of course is our heated steering wheel the light is orange that means it is on the light is off that means it is off so here again we have our high medium low and off on heated seat and our ventilated seat high medium low and off so orange the orange indicator is heat the blue indicator is ventilated as you can see here so turn that off and of course we have our engine start stop button here this one is a push button start it also has a remote start um, but that's another subject for another time. We have our shiftable automatic transmission. If you ever wonder what the little plus and minus is when you shift in the drive, that is your Sportmatic transmission. Basically, a shiftable automatic. You have your drive mode controls here that will cycle you between normal, sport, and smart. It changes your shifting points on your transmission can affect your gas mileage especially if you're doing a lot of stop and go driving here we have downhill brake control um, if you're ever in the mountains or in a situation where you're driving downhill you can turn your ground downhill brake control on and that will help preserve the life of your brakes um, so you don't have to feel like you're riding the brakes as the old saying goes going downhill off and on and the display is in your center cluster on and off the auto hold if you've watched any of my other videos i've discussed auto hold before auto hold basically holds your brake pedal in place when you come to a complete stop you can take your foot off of the brake pedal and it will hold the brake pedal for you um, example i always use is the if you're in a line at a fast food restaurant or stuck at a train crossing um, come to a complete stop the words auto hold will appear in your center cluster they will light up green when the conditions are not met they will be grayed out when they turn green the system is active and it is on here we have our idle stop and go the orange in this case that is off that is on idle stop and go if you're not familiar with it if when you come to a complete stop if the conditions are such that the system will activate uh, when you come to a complete stop uh, of course if you have your defroster on max or you have your air conditioner on max this system will not engage you'll see a green this symbol i don't know if you guys can see it the a with the circle around it this symbol will appear in your center console your center cluster um, when it's green system is active when it is yellow the system is not active not necessarily does not let me preface that the orange if this symbol is lit up in your center cluster on your dash if it is lit orange that does not mean there is a problem that just means the system is not active because the conditions are not met you may not be at a complete stop or you may have one of the other your defrost or your climate control settings may affect the system activating and deactivating 
Now here we have our parking distance warning off and on and I will demonstrate. And I have the driver's side door open so the car is fussing at me to close the door. But the orange, when it's not lit, the system is off. So if you were trying to get close to something in the rear or up front, so uh, if you were trying to get hooked up to a small trailer or camper, for example, you probably would want to turn this off. It's back engaged, disengaged, and re-engaged. And we are back in park now. So our parking distance warning is off. We're going to turn that back on. And then this turns on your parking camera. So that is on, that is off, on, and off. And of course, when you put your vehicle in reverse, your parking camera will stay up as long as you stay under 10 miles an hour. And just real fast, just a quick refresher. We have our different camera angles for our backup camera or our parking camera in this case. You would have access to these in reverse as well if you were in reverse. And that's our 360 view. Our 360 surround view monitor camera, which is new for 2023. You can get this in the Sportage, you can get this in the X Line Sorrento, the EV6, and they, we are expecting the first part of 2023 year the year of 2023 to have it in the k5 as well and the new telluride so this has just been a quick overview of our center console and its functions one other thing that i forgot to mention is our cup holders in this vehicle just a quick corner you may never you may wonder okay I have a large cup a small cup there are little arrows I don't know if you can see them but this whole cup holder insert slides in and you see these two buttons that flips out so if you had a smaller beverage holder a cup you could adjust for a larger or smaller cups so if you were to take a sharp turn left or right and your drink wouldn't go tumbling then that would hold it secure if you would like to test drive this vehicle we are here every day of the week and from 8:30 until seven o'clock and on saturdays from 8 30 to 5 once again we are superior kia in orangeburg south carolina we're at the beginning of the superior auto mile unless you're going the wrong way hope everyone has a great weekend and hope you learned something today um, we look forward to seeing you soon thank you